I'm on top of my rotation Up and all my damage bit I'm still standing after all this time Pulling all the mobs up of the healers So we'll be just fine I'm still standing Yeah later to help me make <laughs> Oh god damn it! Chaos! God damn it, Chaos! <laughs> <laughs> So this is our mobile soundscape exhibit. Where do we go from here? <laughs> Sound waves are just vibrations in the air. Frequency. Such a vast and strange environment. World of music. As long as you have curiosity, you know there's life. When I look out to the ocean, I get that same feeling as I do when I look up into the stars. That's probably my first memory. As a kid, I would run through the hallways and I would hear them practicing Mexican traditional music. I went to a Catholic school and the nun who had the Spanish class always took students down to San Blas. And that's where I met him. And I was 15 and he was 16 years old. Here we are at the plaza, la plaza principal. My mom didn't know Spanish and my father didn't know English, but they were able to communicate at least with music. And then I came along. <laughs> Danny, he was a busy one, very inquisitive when he was little, but his curiosity sometimes got him in trouble. <laughs> I was not a good student in high school. I didn't have any expectations. I wasn't looking at universities or anything like that. But after graduating, I thought, well, I might as well go to community college. I started at Cabrillo and I didn't know what engineering was. As far as I was concerned, it was like a mechanic or something like that. But I started taking some math classes and um, it was different. You know, there's lots of types of students. The majority of the students, they want the equation so that they could calculate a number. And then there are students who actually try to understand. That's Daniel. I would always question things. I would always wonder, like, how light works, like, why the waves are crashing the way they do. And when you start looking at physics and learning about these sound waves are just vibrations in the air and how we can represent those mathematically, my eyes opened to, like, a new world. And that's, I think, when it clicked that I knew I wanted to do engineering. Cabrillo College held a symposium where they connect students to research institutions. It was really interesting what Danelle and John were doing. Daniel had a musical background. That's an important part of working on audio, is you have to have an understanding of the way sound works. Light may reach 100 meters in the ocean. Sound can travel thousands of miles. It's not a surprise that many life forms use sound for communicating. Blue whale is the largest animal to have ever lived on Earth, including bigger than any dinosaur. They vibrate your body. They're incredible to hear. The scientists at Imbari wanted to figure out a way to listen in and count how many blue whales there were. 
So the process that we're using involves recording audio from the ocean. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but that's a lot of information. Too much information for a human to try to look at and listen to. We were able to turn those sounds into spectrograms, which are just images or mappings of what sound looks like, and fed those images into TensorFlow, this machine learning tool. Machine learning is getting the computer to be able to pick up patterns. It allows us to take a mammoth pile of data and distill it into something meaningful so that we can do the analysis. We want to understand how and when they're using all these calls because that can help us understand their ecology. It can answer a lot of questions about the way we are affecting the marine environment and how we can help conserve it. Daniel was key in developing the software to automatically. Hey, you fucking warrior. Oh, that might kill him. You guys better watch out on me, guys. I haven't died yet. Come on. Come on, you shaman. You're next, you bitch. I figured I had a big design on Demon Hunter today. You guys need a lot of movement. Right? 